You want to talk about a guy that got some crack in his shots, extended combinations, long, rangy? You're talking about Fernando Padilla. And he made his UFC debut in really short fashion, dude. He said, oh, Julian Juicy J. Arosa, you're a dangerous striker, huh? And he is, but he gave it to him and he got him out of there quickly. Now, you're looking at the other side of the spectrum. Kyle Nelson is a veteran that I think that this is a really well matched up matchup. I guess for lack of a better term. And the reason why is because Kyle Nelson, man, this dude can stick around. Yeah, has he had an up and down career? Lots of losses to some good guys. Jai Herbert, Billy Q, uh, Diego Fajeda. I mean, those are some good guys, right? He's always there. And he's going to stick around until you get him out of there. Now, Fernando Padilla, coming off of a fantastic victory where he just knocked off Julian Arosa really quickly, could come into this fight a little overconfident, especially against a guy like Kyle Nelson, who, like I said, peripheral-wise, you don't think much of him, but I'm telling you, this guy's a tough test. Does that play into this fight? Do you think that Kyle Nelson has a psychological advantage given that he might be super overlooked in this one? Yes, Derek. I mean, it's always goes into this fight of who has the most to lose. At this point, it's Fernando Padilla. He has all the momentum, all the stardom, all the glory to lose for Kyle Nelson. He's down just to be one of the boys in the locker room that's actually getting done all the time. And I mean, whether he's down for that or not, that's where he's kind of found himself into that position. And he thrives well in there. You were talking about uh, Kyle Nelson finding himself always in the fight. That's the reason he won that Blake Builder fight. Was mm. he getting controlled and kind of beaten up in the first round? You know, some would argue yes. But he was able to stay there, find his moments, get him to where he was most advantageous, and got the dub. That's what worries me about Kyle Nelson going into this fight. He does have the, the power and the precision and all the X factors, but he also can lean on that veteranship that he's been in there before. He's been in the hard moments. He's had the losses. He's had the wins. He has all those things to get it done. For Padilla, it does worry me a little bit, but I mean, he has he has some amazing coaches behind him. This dude throws an amazing front kick up the top, and I do think for this fight, I think the reason this is at the front of the card, Derek, we're going to see a crazy kickboxing match. This is going to be a lot of fun. Do you see fireworks, or are we here for a technical battle for these two? I don't think that Fernando Padilla has the right dance partner um, for fireworks in this matchup. Very similar to how I talked earlier about Tracy Cortez, Jasmine Jasvidicius. I think they want to see fireworks, but I don't think it's the right dance partners, man. Kyle Nelson, I think that if he's smart, he tries to close the distance, clinch up Fernando Padilla, get him against the cage, and do his work and make it dirty in a good way. Not, not in a... You know what I mean? Dirty boxing type. Yeah, not that, not that stuff, right? But the other stuff. I think that that's his best path, man. You cannot be out at range with Fernando Padilla. This is very similar to Daniel Zellhuber. You can't, or else you're cruising for a bruising. I mean, come on, what are we talking about here? Now, where it gets interesting to me is, do you think Kyle Nelson can hold down Fernando Padilla? Is that in the cards? Ooh, good question. I think yes, Derek. At least for the for the time being, we haven't seen Padilla actually get up from from bad positions like that. We have seen Kyle Nelson do really well in those positions. I mean, even his duo Choi fight, we saw moments where he was having success in there. And I do think that's going to be what's on the mind of uh, Kyle Nelson going into this fight is you have to control this dude. You have to put him in those deep, bloody waters that we like to see in order to get the win right here. Kyle Nelson, man, he has all the intangibles to get it done, but will he have that crack? Will he have that, you know, that pop, that speed on fight night? Because we know Padilla is going to show up with all those intangibles as well. He has that useful vigor to him that provides just a little bit of edge but i do think the mental edge that nelson has is going to go miles in this fight do you agree derek uh eh, i don't know man i don't know i like padilla via tko here honestly if i'm just being real about it i think that nelson can pick and choose his moments i think he can have some good spots but i think padilla if he catches him out at range it only takes a couple and the beautiful part about it is he doesn't just throw one He's got one followed up with three behind it. So you better be ready to get out of Dodge, man, because this guy is going to hurt you. I think that this is a little bit of a chalky week here, AJ, but I, I do think that Padilla probably steamroll showcase bout. What do you think? I think so, Derek. I really like that plus 165 odds. You're, you're going to have a lot of trouble entering space on Padilla, especially because he throws really nice things up the middle. So even if you want to get inside, you're going to have to eat some shots to do it. I like Padilla. Give me that knockout 165. All right.